Did you know that there are Google Chrome extensions for Trello? Hi, I'm Kelly, your tech-savvy business mentor, and today I'm introducing you to the world of Google Chrome extensions that add features and functionality to your Trello boards. So stick around. What I had noticed was that on some of my boards, this one's actually not that bad, but on some of my boards, I had so many lists. And sometimes I had lists that I was like, you know what, I, I just want to like hide that. Um, I want it to still be there. I don't want it to be archived, but I just don't want it getting in my way, right? So like, for example, consider archiving. Um, maybe I just don't want to see that, but I still want it to be there, right? So this particular Chrome extension, if I click on it, it just goes away. And then it comes back. Or I could literally hide them all, though I don't know why you would do that, and then show them all, right? That is just one of the amazing Chrome extensions that exist. So we're going to use this Pinterest strategy board as our kind of uh, example board. And I'm going to take you into the world of Chrome extensions for Trello. Okay, so first things first, if you don't know how to get to it, uh, when you're in Google Chrome, you're going to come over here to the right of your picture and you're going to click on the three dot menu. And then you're going to go down to more tools and extensions. And then once you get in here, it's going to start with whatever extensions you already have, right? Um, so you can see, for example, that in addition to um, Trellists, which is the one that we were just looking at, this one allows you to hide and show lists on Trello boards. I also have one called Trello Bookmark. Now, I don't use this one a ton because I've noticed just realistically this isn't how I uh, save things to Trello, but you certainly could. So let's just look at this real quick. It's a way to um, basically see your bookmarks on your Chrome as a card on Trello. So that's pretty cool. It's just that I find that I tend to, rather than looking for it there, I tend to just use the bookmarks, okay? So, but let's just do a quick search here for Trello. Oh, this is only looking at the ones I have. I also had... Um, do I have this? It looks like I have this even enabled. Um, it's very possible that this one is no longer supported, meaning that as Chrome updates itself, some of these no longer, uh, no longer work with that version of the browser. So I kind of get the feeling because this doesn't seem to work anymore or else we would see it on the board itself. We would see it somewhere that we would have the ability to look at it in a different way. So the fact that we can't tells me that that's probably no longer supported. So I'm actually going to turn that one off because kind of a rule of thumb is don't leave, um, don't leave bad extensions or no longer supported extensions running in your Chrome. It's just not a great idea. Um, so this was searching only in the extensions I already had. We're going to come over here to the hamburger menu. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to come all the way down to the bottom where it says open Chrome web store. And now we get to literally search the world of extensions. So here's where we're going to search Trello and just like hold your breath because it's about to get crazy up in here. There are so, Oh, where are all the rest of the extensions? There we go. <laughs> I was about to say, it's about to get so crazy in here, and then there were three. No, you had to click on more extensions, and then you start seeing all of the extensions that are available. I, I don't even just, okay, we're not even going to have time to go through a bunch of these. I, I mainly wanted to make you aware that this exists, um, but we're going to look at it anyway. Oh, keep in mind, some of these, like this... Uh, Plenty way, plenty way, however you say that, team calendar for Trello is probably going to require you to create an account um, on something else. So just be aware of that. Some of these are not going to be totally free because they might require that you create an account 
on whatever other tool is uh, connected to this extension. So just keep that in mind. Um, but let's just go ahead and look at this one in a new tab real quick. Let's see what it does. It's a team planner to manage it all. I mean, that it's cool that we've got board, calendar, timeline, time tracking, all of this, but this is very robust. This tells me it's probably not going to be free. Let's look at their website real quick. Continue with Trello, continue with Jira. Okay, so let's look at pricing. Let's just see real quick. Oh, they do have a forever free plan. Gives you calendar views, priorities, filters. Oh, oh, I might have to uh, click on this. You're not going to get like timeline view, time tracking, swim lanes. A lot of this, if you're working by yourself, you probably don't use or even know how you would use things like that anyway. Um, recurring cards, things like that, you can do in Trello already. Um, so a lot of this stuff, like it looks like it could get more and more amazing if you want to pay for it, but we can do it for free. So let's give it a shot, right? Let's see what it does. I've honestly never done this one before, so let's find out. So I'm adding to Chrome. Okay, so it wants me to sign in with Trello. Okay, we will do that. Okay, we are in. Ooh, and now we get a little guy down here. Okay, open any Trello board or create a new one. All right, well, let's go back to this one where we can see it just brought us a little um, new icon. So we're going to get a little tutorial here. So let's check it out. Oh, crap, I hit skip. <laughs> okay, let's show Plenty Way. Okay, tell us about yourself. How would you like to work with Plenty Way? Well, for right now, I'm going to say alone. And I'm just going to say me. We're just working on me. Business owner, continue. Okay. What is my main objective? I don't know if I'm honest. Let's go with weekly schedule. That seems like something that would be very... Oh, or editorial editorial calendar. Okay, we're going to try that. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Plan and drag... So this is giving us access to things that we're not going to have in two weeks. And we have talked about this before. Always pay attention when you're trying out something new. Number one, if it seems like you're getting way too much for free, you are, most likely. Um, so pay attention and look at what, uh, what kind of trial they may have dropped you into. Now, it's good because in this case, they have not asked us for any kind of payment um, platform, no PayPal, no credit card, anything like that. So realistically, we wouldn't accidentally get dropped into something we're paying for, right? So that's good. But we also don't want to fall in love with something that we're then going to find out that we don't have access to for free anymore, right? We always want to be aware. So let's go ahead. And so it looks like we can do um, drag and drop to get our kind of Gantt view which uh, what I, I would assume would then also alter the start time and due date on the card itself. Color code with labels. We always love color coding. Anytime that we can use a label and get a full color bar is so pretty, and I just like that. Uh, we can add more boards and see more boards on this view at the same time. So like if you're tracking different activities on different boards, but you want to see your overall schedule in one place. That's pretty cool. And then let's see, oh, we can share it. All right. Oh, and we have fireworks. We gotta love the animations, right? <laughs> I mean, come on, animations are awesome. Oh man, we could do so much with this, but this was not what the point of this video was supposed to be. <laughs> we were gonna look at lots of different ones, and this one is like super in depth. So I think I'm actually going to uh, take this part of this and make this a separate video. I'm going to pull this out because um, this might deserve its own video. Let's go back to what we were doing, though. We're going to go ahead and close. Oops, not that. We're going to go ahead and close this so that it's not in our way. And we're, we're going to go back to the Chrome Web Store and find some things that are a little bit less involved as far as the uh, applications go. Or, I'm sorry, as far as the extensions go. 
Trello card numbers. Adds card numbers to a variety of places when using Trello. Okay, let's see. What would that look like? So I see here that we have um, numbers on the cards, but why do we care? Card ID color, so we can change the color of the ID number, because if you saw here, they were they were blue, right? So they really stood out, and then we can also bold or unbold it. Okay, so it's for when you're like talking about something. So like if you wanted to treat this like a ticketing system, you could have a card created and then that number that it adds to it would just be like the ticket number. Um, so it's a reference number. So, okay, that's useful. But if you're by yourself, you're not working with a team, not a whole lot of use for that. Trello on steroids. Trello is already on steroids, but this does say pro. So I'm not really sure what to do with that. Let's see. Ooh, what's all that? gives us a, a, the ability to show to show uh, like a progress bar at the top of a list. That's kind of cool. But again, this isn't going to be free, is it? I mean, just the fact that it says pro means we're going to have to pay for it, right? Trello card enhancements. Oh yeah, this is like, this is going to be just as crazy as a uh, plenty way is. So let's go back, but that's an example. List layouts, that's that one I um, I showed you that I thought looked like it was maybe not supported anymore because uh, I wasn't seeing where you'd be able to move them around. So um, I think that maybe it's no longer supported. And let's go back. We've got true lists. This is the one I was showing you where you can hide lists and get them out of your view. Next step. Ooh, I like that. Next step for Trello. So you can basically, it'll show you, I'm assuming whatever the, the next unchecked item on your checklist is. Let's see. Useful productivity add-on for weekly, daily planning, scheduling every time without having to open and close cards all the time. That sounds kind of cool. Let's add that one. And let's come here to where I have checklists already on a card, but I didn't see anything change. So let's see if we can find where that went. Or maybe, maybe I'll refresh the page because sometimes you have to do that in order for it to show up. Ah, here we go. So we've got next steps. And it's thinking, it's doing something. So let's give it a second and we'll see what it does. Oh, maybe we click on it. Oh, here we go. Mode hidden. Let's do one per card. Huh. Still not seeing where it should come from. But again, I wonder if it's because it's still thinking. One per checklist. I don't know. Why isn't it doing anything? This one's kind of cool. I hope it works. Mm, still thinking. Okay, so that one might be having a bit of an issue. Let's keep looking while we're waiting. How about? Okay. CSV export. That's pretty cool when you need to be able to um, pull it out and, and put your tasks or your um, if you were tracking clients, maybe you'd be able to pull stuff out and Upload it into another system. Trello cards optimizer, so you can change the priority. Slim lists, if you want to make your lists more narrow so that you can see more of them on the same page. I mean, look at all this collapsible lists. I mean, guys, this is so cool. It just keeps going and going and going. So, um, like I said, uh, be prepared to go down a little bit of a rabbit hole here, especially because, um, oh, so list progress bar. If you click on this, when you go to, um, like, let's say we add this one to Chrome too, and then we come here and then it gives you even more. So this is what always happens to me is that I add something and then I see this list. I never even go back to the other list. I just like keep going through here and it's just like further and further. And I used to have one like this that took the labels and put them on the card. Yeah, like that. And then it stopped being uh, supported. 
but it looks like maybe there's a new one. So I'm just going to add that and come back here because this one has so many different labels on it. Let's refresh and see how it looks because I'm really excited. It makes it so pretty. Oh, we've got our, um, we've got our little progress bars. Why am I not seeing my card colors? Guys, where are my card colors? They were so pretty on theirs. Where are mine? Hmm. It is possible that things are conflicting with each other. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to stop this next step thing for a minute because it is uh, kind of freaking out. It doesn't seem to be working properly. Okay, where are my colors, y'all? I want my colors. I'm always so sad when one of these doesn't work because, um, yeah, let's turn off plenty way too. Maybe that's causing a problem. Wah, wah. This is so sad because I care so much more about the aesthetics than <laughs> I know I'm such a girl. Dang, it's not working. Oh, that's such a bummer. Well, as you see, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Some of those popped right in and they worked great, and others, like the one that I want the most, just won't, uh, it won't show up, and I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's old, maybe it's glitchy, or maybe this is even the same one I used to use um, that just doesn't have the support anymore, which is super sad because I really really liked it. Cause see, look what it's supposed to do. It like colors the entire card. And if you have more than one label, it like splits it. And so sometimes you end up with boards where it just like looks like a rainbow of colors. It's, it's yeah, it's really pretty, but it's not looking super promising. looks like it was last updated in 2017. So it probably is the same one I was using before, which is why it's not working, which is a huge bummer. But anyways, just, you know, it, it may be the few that we looked at weren't all super exciting and didn't all work for us, but um, so many fun, fun ideas. So go and look around and in the comments, if you find any super cool, super useful, super working extensions, throw them in the comments so we can all check them out and try them, okay? Okay. And if you liked this video, please make sure that you click that like button and subscribe to the channel. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated or overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.